We uh, have a little project here this morning. <laughs> uh, this here, hang on. Yeah, it's a Nonan generator. Comes from a motor home. I had, uh, uh, I don't, I forget the size of it there. But we have a bit of a problem. See, this is a Onan. It's, uh, I forget how many watts this is. Uh, doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> uh, it's got a fuel pump. This is a mechanical fuel pump. Okay, I, I, I put it back in there, but this, see the hole right here? Uh, see the little arm? There's a, uh, in there, there's something that act, activates this little arm here. And uh, this pumps gas, this here. <clears throat> but, uh, Houston, we have a problem. Uh, here the diaphragm the diaphragm's busted that's the first problem well not actually busted but it's not in the best of shape I took this apart I think there's a mechanical the mechanical this little arm here okay it goes to the center of this and then that activates this little plunger here well whatever hooks to this is, is worn or broken one of the two I'd have to take this apart uh, rebuild it uh, needless to say <laughs> not without a lot of uh, I, I found a kit for this like this part um, uh, spring, but uh, I don't want to. I don't think I want to get into that. And then part of this is this little fuel filter. I am gonna try to mount that, but that's uh, still in the making. I have to figure that out. So we gotta. Well, what we're gonna do is. We're gonna start at the beginning. I just, just gonna tell you, it this is a mechanical fuel pump, and nowadays I took the idea off my uh, uh, my little Toro tractor. Hang on, I'll bring you. See, it's in here. I don't know if I should have oughta took my flashlight with me. Uh, where is it? See right here. You can't see. Hang on. There. Right there. See that there? That's a vacuum operated gas pump. But that there, that there, there's a hole within here. And it comes out and it hooks up to the to the pump. Okay? So I didn't buy that type of pump, but I found one. a little filter right there that's what I need a little filter like that for to replace that glass filter but the little glass filter is handy if you got water you can really see it in there I'd like to keep this but of course <laughs> if the glass breaks <laughs> then and it's got to shut off on it too, right? Eh? A little shut off valve on it. I'd like to keep that. Okay. Anyways, hang on. I'm gonna <clears throat> uh, too too many things at the same time. Okay. So Kawasaki, the mule, my mule. <laughs> well, not my mule, but Kawasaki has a, a vacuum operated fuel pump. See, you can see arrows on here. The gas comes in on this side. There's an arrow there going this way. And then there's an arrow going this way. So the gas comes in here. And it leaves here. And this here, you hook up the vacuum to that. In order to hook up a vacuum to that, 
Well, you gotta, you gotta have a source of vacuum. And to have a source of vacuum, we're gonna see this here. You know where the the pump comes from? Okay, this this part here. Well, I'm making a piece. I took a, this is a gasket. <laughs> okay, that goes here. Hey, okay. so I I kind of put this on a chunk of plate. I uh, drilled the holes. Now I'm drilling the center hole. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap, tap the center part. I have a tap right here. Uh, this is a pipe tread tap. And uh, what I'm doing, whoa, whoa, whoa. what I'm doing is I'm putting a 90 degree elbow here because I don't want my pipe that I that pipe that I install to the pump I don't want the oil to go up that uh, pipe and then get into the fuel pump so I'm putting a 90 usually these systems they have a deflector inside but I don't want to really get into that so what I did is I traced I traced out the shape of the gasket so I'm just gonna cut this piece and tap it and tread it here and then we'll uh, once that's done we'll mount it on the uh, the motor but uh, okay so anyways you don't have to see me cut this and everything I'll, or tread this you know how that goes and just to explain to you what I'm into here and then uh, we'll I'll bring it back as things progress <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, first, first things will start at the beginning there. Uh, there you go. There's my uh, contraption. I made a a blanking plate. I tapped it. I put a street elbow, street elbow, and then I put a fitting, and that's my pipe that goes to the other side to the pump. The, the fuel pump, the the vacuum fuel, fuel pump. So I'm picking up the vacuum from the base. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now the direction of flow is this way. So we're drawing from the tank, which is this here. We're going into the pump. The direction of flow goes this way. Now, in through the filter, and when we're done, see, we turn this off, and then we run this line. But that was the whole problem. Prior to that, there was old gas left in that, but I guess there's no big deal if there's old gas left in the fuel bowl, as long as I run it dry. Okay, and then the gas goes through here, and goes through this gas line that I just installed. You'll have to forgive the the gas lines there. That's uh, I have some ordered but it's not here yet but uh, and this goes into the carb. Uh, this here has a it used to have uh, some kind of choke but uh, electric choke but it doesn't anymore so I uh, I don't know it doesn't need it I guess because uh, all we got to do is press on this see this this pipe here connects to the throat here but uh, okay this will be noisy there I just I tried it before okay <laughs> uh, it's just I, I got a the battery that's hooked up to the cables here and here's my start oh, yeah, this will be loud and uh, well maybe I should
that's it. <laughs> okay, well, that's it, folks. <laughs> you can see it works. So, any mechanical pump can be switched over to a vacuum pump. Hang on, I'll turn the gas off here so it doesn't all. I think what happens is it draws, ooh, it draws itself back into the to the tank by by itself. There. <laughs> Hopefully. I know I should have ran it dry, but I didn't. But anyways, I'm not done with this yet. I still got some other tests to do. 